Welcome back to my channel, Saving with Christina. Today I'm gonna to share with you the best deals I grabbed over at Walgreens for the week. I was able to get all of these items for free and made over $5 buying it all. Of course, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step exactly how I did that. I'm also gonna show you how I chose to use the Spend 20, Get $5 in Walgreens Cash Digital Booster, as well as the Spend 35, Get $8 in Walgreens Cash Paper Booster. And I did stack those boosters, so I'll talk about that as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So glad that you're here. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. And you can also hit the little bell and you will get a notification every time I post a new video. Okay, so let's jump into the deals. A few of these deals I did as curbside pickups and a few more I did in store. So just a quick update on the Walgreens curbside. So I mentioned this in my live on Friday. So if you missed that, you can go back and watch it. Each Friday I am popping in with a frugal tip. And this Friday I did like a Q and A on uh, the most frequently asked Walgreens questions. So I will drop a link to that in the video description box below. But Walgreens now has a new curbside pickup policy where you have to hit at least a minimum of $10 to even be able to check out. So what does that $10 mean? It has to be $10 after Walgreens store coupons, but before manufacturer's coupons. So for instance, if I have a $12 product and I have a $5 manufacturer's coupon, that will take me below that $10 minimum, but it will still let me check out and pick it up as a curbside deal because I hit the minimum of $10, um, including manufacturer's coupons. So as long as you spend at least $10 after Walgreens store discounts, like including promo codes, but before manufacturer's coupons, you're gonna be just fine. You can also pay with Walgreens cash and get that total down way below $10 and you'll still be able to check out. So hopefully that's a good update on um, the Walgreens pickup scenario. If you have questions about it, just drop them down below and I will be happy to answer those for you. One of the deals I did as a curbside pickup was on these $1 Suave Green Apple. Not all the stores carry these, but one near me does. So I grabbed two of them at a dollar a piece, so that's $2, and I had a $3 off two digital coupon. Now, the weird thing is I had three in my cart. I had the $3 digital coupon. It showed it all came off. Then like hours later, for some reason, it was only taking off $2. So I got two of them completely free because that $3 off two coupon took off $2. But if you put three in your cart, it's still only gonna take off $2 for some reason. But it makes both of those completely free. Now, another deal I did was on the Garnier products. They are, uh, the cheapest ones I found were $3.49 each. So I grabbed three different products at $3.49 each. These are buy three, get $5 in Walgreens cash, okay? So they are $3.49 each times three. I had a $3 off two digital, as well as a $1 off one digital. So I paid $6.57 and I got back $5 in Walgreens cash, making all three of them $1.57 or just 49 cents each. Now I've had people ask me, can I pay with Walgreens cash and still earn Walgreens cash back? Yes, absolutely. I could have used $5 in Walgreens cash to pay for this and I would have gotten the $5 in Walgreens cash back. If you have additional questions or just wanna hear more about the Walgreens cash policies, I did finally do a full Walgreens cash tutorial and I'll link that below in the video description box. Okay, there are also a few deals this week on Crest products. There are two different deals. There are Crest products that are priced at $4 each, and when you buy three, you get $5 in Walgreens cash. And then there are Crest products that are priced at $3 each, and when you buy two, you get a $4 register reward. So you just have to make sure you know which deal you are doing. These products here were priced at $3 each. They are part of the buy two, get $4 in register rewards back. Uh, so three 
times two is six dollars. I had a two dollar digital for the toothpaste. I used a two dollar paper coupon for the toothbrush because I had used my digital in another scenario. So that paper coupon came out of the September Procter & Gamble insert. I paid $2 for these and I got back a $4 register reward, making them free and a $2 moneymaker. This scenario here, a little bit different way to do the um, buy three, get $5 in Walgreens cash. I grabbed two of the Always Radiant. These are priced at two for 10. I grabbed these because I had two different $3 digital coupons. So $6 came off for that. And then I grabbed one of the Oral-B Deep Clean toothbrushes priced at $4. And I had my $2 digital that I used on this one. So my total after coupons was $6. I got back $5 in Walgreens cash, making all three items just $1 or 33 cents each. And again, I could use Walgreens cash to pay and I would still get Walgreens cash back. This um, Asepsia soap was priced at $3.19. There is a $3 digital coupon making this soap just 19 cents. And I've heard good reviews on this. It's not a product I've ever purchased before, so I'm interested in trying it. Another curbside deal that I did was on this Revlon sharpener. These are priced at $2.99. There is a $3 uh, Revlon eye uh, cosmetic purchase. Might, might have just said cosmetic purchase. It's either eye cosmetic or cosmetic. Either way, it took off $2.99, making this completely free. Another deal this week is on the Colgate. So these Colgate toothpaste are priced at $3.99 each. And when you buy two, you're gonna get $4 in Walgreens cash. So I picked up two of them at $3.99, that's $7.98. I had a $4 digital coupon, so I paid $3.98. I got back $4 in Walgreens cash, making them both free. And the last deal over here is where I experienced issues. Um, I had it completely planned out. I ran into the store to just do the deal super quick, and of course, I ended up with issues. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I did as well as what it is supposed to look like. There is a promotion right now in the ad for spend $30 on specific items, get $10 in Walgreens cash back. And these Dollar Shave Club items are part of that. But there's also rebates on the Shopkick app for the Dollar Shave Club products. So that's why I was trying to put together a super good deal for you guys. So I grabbed the Dollar Shave Club um, Post Shave Cream at $6.99. I grabbed the Dollar Shave Club face wash at $6.99. I grabbed the razor blades here. They were supposed to be the six blade four count at $9.99. This was in the wrong spot. It was tagged $9.99 and I grabbed it. I scanned it in Shopkick. It said it qualified, so I went up to the register. And when I checked out, I didn't get the $10 in Walgreens cash back because I hadn't hit the $30 minimum. I was like at $29.47 or something crazy, super close. And then I realized on my receipt that I had grabbed the wrong one. I had grabbed the, it was in the wrong spot. I had grabbed the one that said $9.99, but it rang up $7.99. So that threw everything off. So I had to, um, I, I asked the guy, do you want to completely redo the transaction? And he's like, I don't want to mess with it. Just take it. I'll give you the $10 in Walgreens cash. So that's how he fixed it. Uh, but I could have returned the products, put the wrong one back, grabbed the correct one, and redid the transaction. Um, but thankfully, he was nice and didn't want to mess with it. So he just gave me the $10 in Walgreens cash because I was short like 51 cents from the $30 anyway. But... How it's supposed to work is $6.99, $6.99, grab the six blade four count for $9.99. And then I grabbed this Dove Men body wash priced at $7.49, okay? I also had a $2 coupon on the Dove Men. So when I add these up the way it's supposed to be, $6.99, $6.99, $9.99, $7.49, minus that $2 digital for this, no other digital coupons, I paid 
I got back the $10 for spending 30 on the uh, on these all total products here. I got back $11.40 on Shopkick for the Dollar Shave Club because Shopkick is giving 950 kicks back on each of these products. So that totals $11.40. I also submitted my receipt to the Fetch Rewards app because I had an offer for a dollar back when I purchased one of these. So I got another dollar back on Fetch Rewards, making my total for all of these items $7.06 or just $1.76 each. Now, because I was already spending $30 on these products, it was a perfect scenario for my spend 20, get $5 in Walgreens cash digital booster, as well as spending just a little bit more and using my spend 35, get $8 in Walgreens cash paper booster. So what I did is I did this exact scenario, like I just explained to you, but I grabbed the Colgate's with it. So that made my total before coupons $39.44, okay? Because I have to get to 35 to get that uh, $8 back from my paper booster. After my $4 coupon here and my $2 coupon here, I paid $33.44 at the register. Now, if you have register rewards, you could use those to pay down that balance, but it would be $33.44. I got back the $8 for spending 35 on the paper booster. I got back the $5 for spending 20 on the digital booster. I got back the uh, $10 for spending 30 on this deal here. I got back the $11.40 on Shopkick. I got back a dollar on Fetch Rewards. And then I got back $4 in Walgreens cash on the Colgate, making that entire scenario free and a $5.96 moneymaker. So um, super great deals. I. I had had the spend 55, get $12 in Walgreens cash digital booster. It was my mom who had the spend 20, get five. So I did that deal on her card uh, for her uh, to show you all how to use that $20 um, spend booster. I didn't end up putting together a scenario for the spend 55. I didn't wanna spend that much out of pocket, so I decided against that one for me personally. Uh, but if you have that one, the spend 55, get 12, you could look at combining a number of these deals to get you to that $55, and you'll likely find some amazing deals when you start combining the deals that I told you about individually. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help you. I hope you are having a great start to your week. The last thing I want to mention to you is the pggoodeveryday.com. A lot of these items that I purchased are Procter & Gamble items. So I can scan my receipts to the pggoodeveryday.com website where they'll give me points back for those um, items and then I can redeem those points for different rewards like gift cards. So if you're not already using pggoodeveryday.com, I have a link for that down in um, the video description box for you. But it's another way to just earn some more bang for your buck, like you've already bought the product, you may as well get the points back and then be able to redeem those for some gift cards. Again, if you have questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Hope you all are having a great week. Thanks.